Beautiful. Oh, Beautiful. Cool, I feel like we're inside of an Instagram photo right now. Yeah. I'm here at Buffer Festival in Toronto, and I'm with Louie! Yeah. We look like we're inside of the most bleached vagina I've ever seen. We built a fort in our hotel room because we were challenged by Harto and Superwoman, and you can see uh, the construction of this fort on Louie's channel. I think we did a really good job in here. It honestly, Mainly me, to be honest. Yeah, Mainly well, yeah, yeah. Louie travels constantly all the time. You don't have a home, do you? Not really, no. So I tweeted out to you guys uh, to see if you needed advice about travel because he is an expert. Yep. So let's answer some of your questions, yeah? Chasing Dem. How can I pack my clothes in only one bag? I think yeah. just don't wear many clothes. Oh! Go yeah. to hot countries and then you won't have to wear many clothes. That's a, yeah, that's a personality trait of Louis is he <laughs> hardly wears clothes, ever. There's a technique of like rolling your clothes. That as well. And this is from Scholarship. Should I bring sandals with or without socks? I didn't want to get into the serious questions so fast. Yeah, I don't wear socks with my sandals. Oh. But some people would say don't wear sandals at all, but that's not me. I, no. I, I wear them. I don't really know why people wear socks. Is it a fashion thing? I don't know. I don't know. It feels like it'd be more uncomfortable to wear socks with sandals. Is it because like you're so afraid your feet are going to get cold at some point? Then don't wear sandals. Maybe you've got ugly toes, but you like sandals. <laughs> That's true. Okay, uh, everyone's asking about packing lighter. Uh, oh, okay, no. Oh, here's one. Oh, this is, no. Oh, here's one. Erin Laperle. Is it acceptable to fart while you are on a plane? Yes! <laughs> well, you have to because it's, l it's usually a long flight. Here's my theory but... on farting on a plane is that it's a really high pressurized a metal tube that you're sitting in the whole time so your body is affected by that but also I feel like they're constantly filtering air yeah. so you your farts don't smell on and, a plane but if I know that it's gonna be a bad one I might be courteous and get up and go to the toilet and then fart and then come back chivalry is Thank not you. dead how do you know it's gonna be a bad one <laughs> if you do one and you're like oh yeah that's that's not <laughs> yeah. gonna work for like, everyone like you can feel the heat yeah. <laughs> you can feel the heat <laughs> Sebi how to ignore the people next to you slash how to to silently end their lives. I didn't read the end of that before wow. I asked that question. Do you have conversation with the people that you sit next to on planes? If it's a shorter flight, I yeah. think I'm more likely yes. to. Yes, yeah. Have you ever edited a video on a plane? Yes. This was a really awkward situation for me. So yeah. I was doing that, sat next to this elderly couple, yeah. chatting to them about YouTube, and they were like, yeah. oh, this is so great, this is yeah. so great. Landed. My name was called out on the tannoy and I was arrested as I got off the plane. What? Why? Yeah. <laughs> it's a long story. They were like, looking at me horrified. And I was like, <laughs> no, like, I'm cool. Like, this is a mistake. This stops people talking to me then. Okay. Oh! How's that? <laughs> Sometimes you wonder, like, what are nightmares made of? <laughs> Whose eyes are those? These are actually my friend's eyes. He's from Sweden, and yeah. they and in the summer, the, the sun doesn't go down. So they eye masks are a big thing in Sweden, apparently, in the north of Sweden. How can I avoid jet lag? This is from the Janine M. I yeah. did something this time. England's like at, like, I don't know what, four in the morning now? It's ahead. It's yeah. like hours ahead. A month leading up to flying over to Canada. I started just getting really nocturnal, so I was getting to bed at, like, Five, six in the morning. Right. And by the time I flew out here, I was in the perfect Canada time. So. So, for any time you travel, just plan a month in month advance. Ahead. <laughs> when I went to London, I stay. I tried to stay up as late as I could the night before I traveled, and then I just drank a bunch of martinis and passed out yeah, on the flight for seven worked. hours. To each their own. Oh. I have a question. There's like three things that you find essential to pack with you everywhere you go. What are those three things? Penny board. Airport. Th this saved our getting our flight on the way here because we were so we got distracted and we were like buying things yeah. when you get in the airport. Classic boys in an airport. And then we looked on the thing and it said our flight was closing and we were like in the terminal but it was like a gate far away. Yeah. We were like, don't worry, we have penny boards. We overtook, you know the old people, the car, <laughs> with the old people in. We were like, we'll see you later. Number two, spare underwear is always good when you travel. Or just underwear in general. <laughs> yeah, at least two bits of underwear. Number three. You've got the passport money. money. Um, a small bag where you don't end up carrying like loads of stuff yeah. around. I went to Thailand once and had this massive bag and for some reason I 
thought I'd just bring everything. And yeah. I bought a spade. <laughs> a massive spade. What's a spade? Like a shovel. Oh, uh, a shovel? A shovel. Why would you bring a shovel I to thought, Thailand? I, I thought we might have dig to dig. No one in Thailand owns a shovel. <laughs> but it was a really heavy shovel. Don't okay. bring a shovel. Don't bring a shovel to Thailand. And he wonders and why he got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Louis, for being here and okay. really enlightening our audience with uh, some really wise travel tips. And make sure you go check out the video of us building this elaborate, wonderful fort that I'm really Really shocked hasn't fallen on our heads yet. Bye! Bye! Verdi, what do you do when a stranger falls asleep on your shoulder on the plane? Shoulder. I'm just readjusting my own body and then that usually wakes them up and they're yeah. like, what? What has happened here? Just like nudge. There nudge. was a woman Is on- like farting in there? What? It just sounds like farts out here. <laughs> <laughs> Creepy extra bonus footage because I forgot to mention that you guys need to watch the newest episode of Grace's Faces over on I Love Makeup channel. Uh, I believe that it is the Touching Your Stuff episode of O2L. Uh, I went to a young boy's house and I touched all of their belongings like an adult woman does.